today I'm going to uh, explain about syllabus assessment do and don'ts in my class electronic commerce A22 okay, semester 2 2023 okay uh, first of all uh, you can check about me in my website okay everything is uh, written in my website you can check my website uh, I'm a lecturer, Dr. Mati Wanan Jagannathan. You can check every, uh, in my website uh, my details. Okay, this is my full name. Uh, this is Dr. Mati Wanan Jagannathan. He's a lecturer in professional technologies. And you can check other things over here. So I'm going to be your instructor for this semester A222. Okay. First of all, uh, welcome to my class. It's going to be a very interesting semester for you, especially for the subject, electronic commerce. Uh, because you are going to learn about a lot of technical skills and also some entrepreneurial skills. Okay, two things will be focused on my class, uh, particularly digital skills. Okay, so stay tuned in my class. Stay aware, awaken in my class to understand uh, so the technical terms and some business skills and also uh, some other important skills that you have to uh, <clears throat> learn before you go to industry okay okay first of all my class okay uh, my materials okay my materials which is uh, syllabus assignment assessment everything included or uploaded on the pum online learning you can check over there We go to UEM Online Learning. You can check over here. Okay, I'm teaching class of group B and C for this semester. So all the materials have been uploaded. So you can check over here. Okay, let me go to uh, group B. The commerce. Okay. So first of all, you have to go accordingly. First of all, join WhatsApp group. Okay. Join WhatsApp group. Okay, I have created a link and invited you. Okay, you have to join this WhatsApp group to uh, be alert about that class, assessment, assignments and so on. Okay, please do, please make sure you join the WhatsApp group. Second is, uh, this is my sub YouTube channel. You can go here and subscribe the YouTube channel because you can get a lot of materials from here as well. Uh, because there are so many uh, important materials you can uh, watch from my previous class or some training videos and so on. Okay. Third is, this is very, very important. You have to fill up your biodata bio form. Okay, your name mail as usual okay everything should be fill up okay then you can see my syllabus you can open the syllabus i will explain your syllabus and assignments you will have a three assignments a group assignment pitching video from your group assignment and individual assignment only three assessments so i will explain detail one by one three of these okay and you up you have to upload over here for example for the group assignment only group leader need to upload the assignment okay for example you click like this okay. and as a student you will okay you will something like you will see something like this okay you still have 74 days okay add submission Okay, add your submission. Okay. Add submission and you can uh, upload your assignments. Okay.
Okay, so same goes to uh, group assignment business pitching. Only group leader need to upload and another individual assignment. So you have to upload individually. It's not a group assignment. Okay, followed by the notes. All the notes has, have been uploaded. I will update the notes according to the uh, requirements, according to the class. And some other activities will be uploaded uh, progressively. Okay, over here. Okay. Okay. Let me explain about syllabus before I explain about the assessment. First of all, uh, assign uh, your syllabus. Okay, BPME three zero three three e-commerce. There is no any uh, specific prerequisite a uh, prerequisite for this paper. Okay, synopsis of the paper. The course aims to provide a versatile introduction and understanding in e-commerce to understand. To undergraduates majoring in business management and entrepreneurship so some of you may be from the bba or uh, bachelor of entrepreneurship and some of you may be from uh, other courses but taking entrepreneurship as a majoring uh, course okay as a major okay students are able to relate to a wide range of e-commerce application and issues that cover various sectors of economy including manufacturing wholesale retail and services it's mean e-commerce it's something that you cannot avoid from any sector e-commerce you can see everywhere even in education okay you can see you are using your portal ah, that is e-commerce portal okay furthermore students also aware about the pervasive nature of web technology in the form of mobile location based and social commerce so three these three forms are uh, highly, I mean, widely available right now. Okay, mobile and social, social commerce, location based, and so on. Okay, that have a great impact on business activities today and in the future. So you are going to learn about this one. Okay. So learning outcome, okay, define various term and concept related to the e-commerce. So you are going to understand some terms. Okay, what is e-commerce? For example, social computing, cloud computing, big data, B two B technology, B two C. Uh, what are the relevant industry and so on okay explain the impact of e-commerce in today's business environment okay there are a few topics we will cover all of the impacts of e-commerce in today's business environment and e-commerce application as well for example social media usage mobile uh, phone usage okay for their business purposes okay. and organize the process of developing and management of e-commerce sites And you're going to use uh, main textbook, Loudon. Okay, this textbook, Loudon uh, and Trevor, 2021 to 2022. You can get this textbook from our uh, Pustaka Union and also from our uh, UEM Press, I think. Okay, you can get it from the mall. Okay, uh, this is a textbook. Uh, I think this is the latest textbook. Okay, you can get it. Okay. Oh no, no, this one. This is the latest textbook. Okay, e-commerce 2021 to 2022 business technology. Okay, and society. Uh, this is a textbook. You can get it. If if you want to buy soft copy, also it's available. If I'm not mistaken, you can buy it. Okay. And I'm going to. Uh, Use one topic from this book as well. But you are not required to buy this textbook because it's quite expensive, this textbook. There is another one, latest one, 2019 or 2020. Okay, no worries. But the most important textbook is this one. Okay, if you look at this here, there is a one asterisk and two asterisk. Okay, this is actually related to the uh, coordination of the 
syllabus. Okay. These are additional references. Okay, let us see one by one chapter. Okay, so ah, this one. These S three refer to you have to use this textbook because one S three. Okay. Okay, the first topic is an overview of electronic commerce. You will learn about definition, technologies involved in e-commerce, and so on. Okay, and followed by a uh, second chapter, mechanism. Still, you are using a uh, same textbook, but it's a combination of the chapter two and chapter three. It means if you look at the uh, textbook, this chapter two available in chapter two and chapter three, in a two different chapters. Okay, you have to refer in such a way. And followed by retailing in electronic commerce. Uh, in our syllabus is a chapter three, but if you look at textbook, it's a chapter nine. So you have to refer to the textbook, okay, chapter nine for chapter three in syllabus. Okay. Followed by chapter four, B two B e-commerce selling and buying in private e market and public B two B exchanges, pub chapter twelve. Okay, that is textbook. Arrangement. Okay, this one quite difficult. I mean, sorry, uh, quite different. Innovative EC system. It's not available in the main textbook. It's available in the another textbook, which is Turban. This textbook. That's why you know two S three. Okay, only this chapter. Okay, only this chapter, chapter five. The rest of the chapter, mobile computing and pervasive computing. Okay, chapter seven. But not entire chapter. It's only chapter seven point three to seven point four only. Okay, you just refer to the textbook, and followed by social commerce seven point one until seven point two for social commerce. In textbook is a single chapter, but in syllabus the two different chapters. Okay, and followed by marketing and advertising in e-commerce. Okay, chapter six. Okay, in the textbook. And e-commerce fraud and security. If you look at the textbook, it's a chapter five, five point one until five point four, followed by electronic payment systems. Okay, it's a very simple chapter, chapter five, five point five to five point six, according to the textbook, and followed by chapter eleven, e-commerce fulfillment and other EC support services. Ah, this is another chapter. Sorry. Uh, another chapter that you have to refer to the Turban, the second uh, main reference. Okay, chapter thirteen. Okay. And uh, chapter twelve is uh, implementing EC system, which is chapter four in the textbook, four point one until four point four, followed by e-commerce legal environment and ethical issue, <laughs> chapter eight. Okay, and followed by launching an online business, which is Chapter four, four point five to four point six in the textbook, main textbook. Okay, so these are the chapter arrangement. Okay, uh, according to the textbook, so you have to refer to the syllabus to understand that chapter arrangement. Do not blindly follow the this one. You have to follow this one. Okay. Okay, this is about syllabus. Followed by Teaching method. So my class is going to be traditional lecture, practical, student-centered learning, project, web tools. Okay, we are going to use and also some uh, online classes, additional online classes. Okay. Cost assessment. For your information, this subject 50% carry mark, and another 50% teach is final exam, not 60-40 year, 50-50. For the cost assessment, which is Uh, formative, okay, fifty percent. Group project, twenty percent. Individual assignment, one percent doing that assignment, twenty percent. And presentation based on the group project report, another ten percent. All together, fifty percentage. And final exam, fifty percentage, fifty percentage. And all chapters should uh, will be covered. Okay, all chapters will be covered. Chapter one to fourteen for your Final exam. There is no midterm, no quiz. Maybe I will conduct the quiz just for the additional 
as an additional activity, not for the assessment purpose. Okay. Or formative assessment purpose. Okay, let us see uh, assignment one by one. Okay, let us see group. Oh no, sorry. Uh, let us see individual assignment. Okay, individual assignment, it's about you have to come out with your own electronic commerce business, which is B2C. Okay, this assignment is aimed to provide an understanding and practical knowledge of digital business in Malaysia. Okay, by doing this assignment, you will understand the uh, uh, practical way of doing online business. Okay, nowadays selling and buying online has become a buzzword among Malaysians. Okay, therefore, students are required to apply the entrepreneurial knowledge in digital business by adopting electronic marketplace model. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is you have to adopt any electronic marketplace model. Okay, nowadays, a lot of uh, marketplace available, freely available. So you can choose anyone. You can choose Lazada, Shopee, okay, Muda, um, Lelong, and TikTok, and any relevant platform. If let's say you are from Indonesia, you want to go for Tokopedia, no problem. You can go for it. Okay. First of all, you have to choose one product that you want to sell. So choose mean not you create a product. That product maybe you get from a supplier, and you get that product, and you are just a retailer. You are just a selling in any uh, platform. Okay. Or you have a one product. You can sell it, no problem. As long as that product is not an illegal product, you can sell it in any platform. Okay, Make sure you are selling. That is very important. First of all, you have to choose a product. What product? Okay. And for promotion, okay, uh, this one. I have a list of uh, things you have to follow. For promotion, you have to do compulsory. Yeah? This assignment, you have to do social commerce business platform even though you are creating a shopee or lazada or any platform to sell your product but you must come up with a social commerce business platform for your promotion purpose for example facebook tiktok instagram okay whatever platform you want to use okay after creating b2c sales platform and social bis commerce business platform two things here eh? one is b2c e-marketplace Another one is a social commerce business platform to promote your business. You are advised to delete both accounts except those who want to continue business through B2C and social commerce platform. It means you can delete the platform or marketplace that you have created after the semester. After you finish your final exam, you can delete it. If you don't want, if you feel that you want to continue the business, just maintain it. No problem. Okay. This is just uh, an example, okay? You can read this one. Okay, what are the things you have to include? You no need to write a long passage, long sentences for this assignment. First of all, you have to include your personal portfolio. Write about yourself and why you should venture into online business. Very simple, write about you and why you want to venture into online business, okay? Is there any benefits? Is there anything unique? You have to explain. Business portfolio, you have to write uh, just, you know, less than one page about your business. It means what is your business? Okay, your capital, startup capital, and also what is your product? And who is your target customer? A little bit, that's it. Okay. And followed by print screen. Ah, this one, very important. You don't need to write along. You just print screen. For example, you are selling through Shopee. So you have to print screen your Shopee uh, page, you know, the dashboard. You upload your product, catalog and everything. Eh? So you print screen everything. Okay. Your product description page, customer, if let's say customer order, you print screen. And you just write a caption. Okay. Customer order, first order, something like that. And other relevant information from the marketplace dashboard. For example, you are doing promotion. Whatever is it in the dashboard, you just print screen. Okay. And second, 4.0 is 
you will open a social media business page, business page or promotion page. For example, Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram, you have to print screen everything to indicate that you have promoted your product through Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, and so on. Okay, whatever platform that you feel convenient, and you are using that tools as a social media promotion pitch. Okay, just print screen. For example, your hard sales, your soft sales, you create a poster, right? So you can uh, put it in a print screen. Okay. And finally, this is the most important print screen. You have to go to e, you have to go to the Go e-commerce portal by MDAC. Okay, this one. Go to this portal. And okay, you have to log in like this. You have to create an account first. Okay, create an account. And there are two things okay you can get from this portal. First of all, you can learn online. There are so many things available here. You can do some learning, self-learning. You can go and learn about search engine marketing, okay, Facebook, Instagram, and so on from this portal. Okay, my learning. Go and explore all of this. Creative content, logistic, okay, everything. Shopee. It's available here. You go and watch the videos, how to Okay, Mulakan business, start your business. Okay, how to list your product, everything you can check here and you learn by yourself. That is for learn online. For your business, once you make a sales, you have to report your sales. Okay, you have to report your sales. Before you report your sales, you have to create your my business profile. Okay, this one. Okay. You have to create a my business profile. Okay, and you click my profile and you add one by one. Okay, I don't want to open because there are some sensitive information over there. You click my profile and you add your business name. You know, you are not required to register your business. Under SSM, okay, it's just for the class purpose. If you want to register, you can register. Okay, I think if I'm mistaken, for the students, it's free for one year if you register enterprise. But I'm not sure whether it's still available or not. Okay, and after that, you have to add your sales. For example, let's say you are selling your product through offline. Maybe some customer come to you face to face and buy. So you record it as offline. If online, you just put online and how you sell it. Awana, Easy Store, Shopee, whatever is it. Okay, others. Uh, what is others? Okay, let's say Shopee. So you put date, amount, use. Okay, 20, ring it. Description of your product a little bit. And add expenses mean maybe you can add expenses. Uh, you know, Delivery and whatever is it, okay? Goods, uh, stock, and you just put 10 ringgit. It's because your sales amount is a 20 ringgit, and your cost is 10 ringgit, so it will be deducted, and you will see you will see the revenue based on your sales. Okay, then you submit this one. You submit, uh, then. You can view your sales and expenses like this. You can see like this. So you have to print screen and put it over there. Whatever you want, print screen like this one. You want to print screen this one also, okay. Okay. This one by month. So you want all. Just print screen everything. 
this is your company name and this is your print screen so just print screen and keep in your assignment that's it very simple okay if you did not include any one of these component your marks will be deducted okay and you have to follow uh, this okay and i have a rubric okay your submission date is thursday week 11 okay thursday week 11 okay the rest you can read and this is the how you can use the go e-commerce user tutorial for students if you feel quite difficult to read you can watch this portal as well i have a video over here I think this video is still relevant. This one. Go e-commerce portal. So, you can watch this video. can watch this video as well okay so and also you can read this one and this is your rubric okay so make sure uh, you fulfill okay, all of this so for this assignment your digital skills will be evaluated that is about your individual assignment. Okay, what about the group assignment? Group assignment is about B2B. So, carry 20%. Okay, you have to do one project. The project assignment is a compulsory part of the course and will contribute 20% of the final score. Therefore, it will require considerable effort in time and input and critical thinking from each student. Every group was, I mean, uh, required to work independently throughout the project, including information searching, data treatment analysis, material compiling, and final reporting. Each student within the group must work actively and contribute to the project work and report writing because it's a group work. So, you, first of all, you have to form a group, four to five members. For this assignment. Okay. And. After you form a group. You have to upload. Your group details over here. Okay. Group leader. Need to upload the group. Sorry. Yeah. Here, upload your group member list. You have to upload here. For example, uh, four groups already submitted. Okay. So I can see over here. Okay, so that's the thing. Okay, and what you have to do? Okay, you have to assume that you are going to run B2B business. It means you are going to produce a product. Okay, maybe it's your own product or you assemble the product or you get from someone and you become a retailer. Up to you, but it's your business. And you are planning to run your business through B2B platform online, like uh, Alibaba or Tencent and so on. So, you are not going to create something like Alibaba.com. What I'm trying to say is, uh, you have to create a business and you are going to use Alibaba.com or Tencent to run your business. Okay, because you are going to be a, a supplier. Okay, or business 
uh, or company. Okay. Remember, you are not need to or you are not required to uh, sell the product. It's just a dummy. Okay. It's your business. You are not required to sell the product like an individual assignment. Individual assignment, it's an actual business. This is not actual business. This is your business plan. You are planning to produce a product and you are planning to run your business through B2B platform. Okay. So for that one, you have to do this one. First of all, you just explain B2B e-commerce platform or B2B e-commerce a little bit and importance of online platforms for B2B transaction. Like this is general. Okay. Uh -huh. And you introduce your group members, reduction of the group members. If let's say five, Okay, it's up to you how you want to introduce group formation. And this is the, your marks start from here. Okay. Description of your, your own, sorry, of the, of your business idea. Sorry, yeah, some uh, spelling grammatical errors. Okay. Business idea and your B2B business. What is your business idea? Maybe you want to sell only glove. Okay, medical glove, but you want to be a retailer. You are not producing, you are not manufacturing. If you want to be a manufacturer, also can. Okay, and your B2B business. Okay, and who is your target market? And you do some industry analysis. Okay, and you have to explain market size and growth potential. First one. Second is your platform selection. Okay, overview of the major internet platform. This is general, okay, and in general, you have to explain what are the available platform for the B2B business. For example, you know, uh, Alibaba, Tencent, Amazon business, okay, India Mart and so on. Okay, these are the B2B business platforms, okay. Then you want to choose which one and why you want to choose, okay, you have to explain. And this is value proposition of your business, product and service or services offered. It means uniqueness of your product and competitive advantage, unique selling points. Okay, you have to explain one by one. And supply chain. If let's say you are a manufacturer where you get the materials, okay, supplier identification, procurement process, inventory management, logistic and delivery, everything you have to explain like a real business. But you are not going to sell the product. Okay, you are planning for it. Okay, and your marketing strategy. Actually, is this one is uh, you explain a little bit only. But over here, you have to explain detail. Okay, your target audience, segmentation, marketing channel, promotion, advertising method, and so on. Okay, and your revenue model. How you make money? Okay, sometimes. Some companies, okay, their revenue model through affiliation, their revenue model through direct sales, okay, you have to explain. Pricing strategy, payment method, forecasted sale and revenue projection, everything. And you can add more also. Okay. And risk analysis and mitigation. Risk analysis and mitigation. What are the potential risk for your business? Uh, and why you want and how you want to overcome that risk implementation plan timeline and milestone where you want to implement your business resource allocation and management monitoring and evaluation okay and finally you have to conclude conclusion summary of the b2b e-commerce business model okay and you have to explain future growth and expansion opportunities and references Carry 20 marks. Okay. And your report should contain the following features. Okay. You have to follow all the criteria. And you have to submit week 10. Thursday, week 10. Okay. And this is the rubric for you. You can refer to the rubric as well. This assignment to assess your entrepreneurial skills. Okay, entrepreneurial skills, entrepreneurship rubric. Okay. 
Okay, this is the second assignment. Third assignment is your pitching video. Your pitching video actually very simple. Based on your group project, you have to create a video. Students are required to prepare a video of business pitching based on the assignment 2. B2B market analysis. Okay. So you can use anything for your presentation. You, you can use PowerPoint, you can use, uh, you know, uh, Canva or any other software. Okay. Prepare a recorded presentation by using a video editing or screen recording software. And only, and you have to upload your video in YouTube channel. I will provide the YouTube, YouTube, sorry, YouTube channel link uh, by week 10. Okay. So it's a group presentation. Everyone need to present. Not outsource to your friend. Okay. So you have to upload the YouTube and submit link to the video. Actually, uh, no need to submit the link. Uh, you can straight away upload the YouTube in my YouTube channel. Okay. I have a dedicated YouTube channel for the student presentation. This one you have to submit by week 11. Okay, week 11. Once you upload the video, you have to create a page. Okay, you uh, create a page and you can write down your YouTube link. You can put your link, YouTube link and then followed by your group member's name. And upload the document over here. Okay. This one. You have to upload a piece of pitch. Okay, a piece of single pitch. Group leader need to upload group member's name and YouTube link. Okay, YouTube, you have to upload in this channel. I can show me to you some example of the presentation previous semester. Okay. I will give you admin rights to upload your video. Okay, later I will collect your Gmail to enable you to upload in my channel. Monday.com makes GANs great again. Yeah. Oh. So these are the previous videos from my students. Oops, sorry, not this one. So you will upload in this channel. Slogan the Batik is the type of Batik that is identical okay. to the so Japanese places, areas, yeah, name, upload. names, After upload, East Yoga, Yogyakarta, and so on. Third, Batik Gentongan. The Batik Gentongan is from Madura. Madura written Batik has a strong character, characteristic freely without using patterns criteria. with blood, bold colors. Okay. Red, yellow, light green. There are at least a thousand Madura's batik motif. One of which is a uh, very popular is the gentongan motif. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Stay tuned. If you do have any uh, problem or any queries or any doubts, you can send email or you can send WhatsApp to me. Okay. Thank you.